guys. So I went on and already filled in my eyebrows. What I'm going to do now is use my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. So I'm just going to apply this all over my cheeks. Just in the areas um, in my T-zone area. And just a little on my forehead. And please excuse my my fingers. I need to get my nails done. So, my nails. so now I'm going to be taking my Morphe E6 brush. Um, I'm going to use this to apply my foundation. Uh, the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, Foundation. Um, I use the color 110, and that's the Cream Cafe color. So I'm just going to apply that on my brush here. And I usually always go for a darker foundation just because my skin tone is a lot lighter. Um, but also my the rest of my skin is kind of darker, so I'd rather kind of balance it out with a darker shade. Alrighty. So now that my foundation is applied on, I'm going to be taking my LA Pro Concealer in the color Natural. Um, I use this to go underneath my eyes, um, pretty much in my T-zone areas, uh, to give myself a little highlight. So I'm just going to apply it in my, under my eye. Also a little bit on the bridges of my nose. And on my chin as well. So now that my foundation is applied on, I'm going to be taking my my LA Pro Concealer in the color Natural. Um, I use this to go underneath my eyes, um, pretty much in my T-zone areas, uh, to give myself a little highlight. So I'm just going to apply it in my, under my eye. Also a little bit on the bridges of my nose. And on my chin as well. And so what I'm do do now is take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend out that concealer. Alrighty, so now that my concealer is now um, blended out, I'm going to be taking my NYX Finishing Powder, and I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics brush, um, and I'll list all the brushes down below in the description box, what I use in this video. I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics brush on this end, and I'm going to be just setting in that um, concealer. Alrighty. So now my face looks a little washed out, but that's okay. We're going to bring my color back to life on my face. And so I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Um, contour palette, highlight and contour palette in Turks and Caicos. I'm going to be taking this dark, um, darker shade here, and I'm going to be applying that to give myself um, a contour and more bronzy kind of look. And now that I did that, I'm going to be doing, um, taking, um, some of that 
that shade and I'm going to be applying that to the tops of my um, forehead as well. And so next I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush palette here and I'm going to be um, using this um, rosy tone here at the far left hand corner. Um, I don't know the names of these um, blushes, they didn't give any names, but they're such gorgeous shades and they really do have really good pigment um, to them. So I'm just going to apply that, it's like this rosy sparkly one to the far left, uh, bottom left hand corner here. I'm just going to be applying that. Um, on my cheeks. Alright, and so next I'm going to be taking my um, Too Faced um, Sun Too Faced Sunny Bunny Natural Bronzer and it's just to give myself just a natural highlight and glow um, to my face. And I'm just going to be taking my same uh, BH Cosmetic brush. And again, I'll list all the brushes I use down in my description box below. And so I'm just going to be applying it in the bridges of my nose. On my cheeks. And I just really love a nice bronzy highlight on my face as well. It's just really pretty. So now that I went on and applied that highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and get started and working on my eyes. So I'm just going to be taking a piece of scotch tape and I'm just going to be applying that to the sides of my eye for this look because I'm going for this dramatic look here. And... And I'm going to do it on both sides because I want to be, want to give myself this nice little um, sharp eye look. And so right now I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics uh, brush and I'm going to be using the color um, Dance the Tides. It's a NYX um, eyeshadow and I use it for my crease color. Um, it's a really natural, pretty brown. That I really do love. It's really gorgeous. And I'm just going to apply that just in the crease of my eye. Now what I'm going to, the shadow that I really want to go for is just this natural like um, gold color um, and I'm going to be using my um, Morphe brushes palette here. Um, it's one of the oldest palettes um, that um, I've used for a very long time. It's the 35T palette and none of these really have any names so um, <laughs> but if you've ever seen this palette it looks like this and it has pretty nice rosy and golden tones. Uh, there's a lot of shimmers and matte um, color shades in this palette and I really do love them all. Um, I'm going to be taking this pretty gold um, shadow here. I'm going to be applying that all over my lid and so I'm going to be taking another one of my um, BH Cosmetics brush brushes as well and I'm just going to be applying that all all over my lid. And it's just this really pretty gold um, color. And I'm taking it all the way to the center um, of my eye as well. And so any like fallout that I do have from this eyeshadow, I'm just going to use one of my brushes, like my little thin brushes from the BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to brush it, um, brush to kind of dust it off a little bit. So now for this look, like I said, I'm going for this very dark, 
uh, smoky eye that I'm going for with this look. So I'm going to be taking my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette and I'm going to be using the color Blackout. It's the very darkest um, black um, shadow they have here and I've never really used it so I really wanted to play with it in this um, this uh, look today. And I'm going to be taking another one of my BH Cosmetic brushes here and I'm like again I said I'm going to list all the brushes uh, down below in the description box so you guys can know which um, um, brushes I use. So I'm going to be go ahead and applying that in the center of my um, the center here of my eye where the tape is and so again I'm going for a very smoky look and so when you want to apply black um, sh eyeshadow on especially in the center you're trying to go for a smoky look you have to be very careful because you don't want to just smudge it on you want to slowly work it in on the side of your um, outer crease um, of your eye so you just want to be very careful and so I'm going to put it here in the center of my eye and I'm going to lightly put it on there and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to um, kind of bring it down because um, I'm going for this very smoky look and I don't want to apply too much but I want to slowly drag it in the corner and in and out slowly in and out slowly in and out as you can see it's already doing the job for you you just got to be very careful and not to just smudge it on there it's going to look very crazy <laughs> And I'm going to do the same for my left eye. And if you do put a lot on when you first try it, it's okay. What we're going to do is just go back and blend it out. So there's no worries on that if you do um, end up putting a little too much. And so again, you see here I have a, a little bit and I'm just going to drag it on in lightly. And drag it in and out and as you can see this applied on way too much so it's okay I'm just gonna blend it all out and you use them for the side and so what I'm gonna do is take one of my brushes it's like this um very like inner corner brush that I'm going to use and I'm just going to blend all that out. I'm just going to brush it on out. gonna blend okay alrighty and so as you can see I pretty much blended out of that that dark smoky um, eye and so it looks very smoky and dramatic so I'm just gonna go back over on my lid with that same color that I used in the BH Cosmetics palette, that gold. I'm just going to apply some more on just because I want it to really pop with this um, smoky black eye that I'm... With the smoky black um, shadow that I did. So I'm just going to go back over. And just apply more. And I'm going to do the same for this side as well. Alrighty. So now my shadows are on. And now what I'm going to be doing is going for this nice... Um, 
cute wing, um, sexy wing for this look. Um, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D ink liner um, in Trooper um, eyeliner. So I'm going to be using this and I'm going to just be trying to make out a nice... I'm now going to be taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And I'm just going to be applying that on my lashes. And so my lashes are pretty naturally long. And so um, for this look, I'm just going to be using my lashes. If you want a more dramatic um, look, I would suggest applying false lashes on. I have naturally long lashes, so I don't necessarily need the lashes. <laughs> some at the bottom of my lashes. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking off. Alright. So now what I'm just going to do is just try to get some of this concealer underneath my eye. I'm just going to be applying the Foxy um, shadow from the Urban Decay 2 palette. I'm just going to be putting that underneath my eye just to kind of blend that out a little bit. So I'm just going to fill that in. Alright, and so to complete this look, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild uh, lip pencil in the color Chestnut. It's 711 Chestnut color. I really do love this lip pencil. It's such a gorgeous lip pencil. It looks really pretty, um, especially for date night and especially with this, um, this look. I think it just really draws the look together and so I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So, all right, guys, this is my finished uh, smoky eye tutorial. I really do hope you guys like it. It's such a pretty Valentine's Day uh, night out um, makeup look for you guys. It's really smoky and pretty and cute. Um, it's something um, that I would create um, going out for a night dinner or going out to wherever your loved one is taking you for a night out for Valentine's Day. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you.